oldies. All right. It's our first podcast, Anthony. It is. Uh, my name is Drew Steimel, and this is a. Uh, what should I say? Leach. It's my good friend Anthony Leach, and uh, we're doing the DK Oldies podcast. And um, do you know why we're doing this podcast? Why are we doing this? Well, I thought about it and figured the world's moving into the social arena. Very true. Net neutrality just came through. Television will be gone. And what will be left? Video In games. <laughs> Video games and internet TV. Everyday Joes like us just making content on the web. So I figured let's get into the social media more and let's make a podcast. Let's see what happens. Right? Great idea. Yeah. I agree. So DK Oldies, we're an old video game store. We sell uh, old Nintendo games, cartridges, systems, accessories. And um, I wanted to do the website so that we could kind of have an open window to what we do around here and then let people know that you know we we sell video games and stuff like that but we're also uh we all have families we all work we all come to work every day and uh ship out your products but have a good time too so um yeah where do you want to go first what do you mean what do you want to talk about I don't know. What do you want to talk about, Anthony? We have ideas. Um, covered who we are, what we do. Let's. I want to talk about how, which I think people want to know, is how you started this company, and you know how you got involved with all this. Because it's been going on for what ten years now. Yeah. Maybe a little longer. I mean, I don't like talking about it, really. I don't like. Uh, I don't think people uh, really want to know that. But um, I mean, I'll tell it. Tell I. Um, do you guys know how I got started? Like in the garage. No. Um, I bartended for a while and I uh, sold cars. And when I was selling cars, a lady came in, and she bought a car like all in cash. And I was like, "What do you do?" This is like early two thousands. And she's like, "I sell pet supplies online." I'm like, what? You sell what? <laughs> and uh, like back then, it seems normal now, but back then it was just so weird that this lady would sell pet supplies online. I was like, all right. So I started thinking about, I'm like, well, that idiot can sell pet supplies <laughs> online. <laughs> and buy a car in cash. Yeah, I'm like, I can sell pet supplies online, right? So I started, I actually went down to the grocery store and I was like, how is this lady selling pet supplies? So I started looking at all like the pet supplies at like the local grocery store. And I'm like, I could just buy it right here and flip it right over. So uh, so I told my boss, I'm like, that I'm going to be selling stuff online, and I'm not going to be selling cars anymore. And uh, he didn't like that. But uh, I eventually quit, and then my idea was not to sell video games online. It was to go the other way, and I was going to be a teacher. And uh, I was going to go to college. So, uh, yeah. I did not know any of this. Yeah, so... Okay. So while I was going to going to college, being a teacher, I um, I worked for a guy who sold uh, he sold stuff online. He sold how do you say adult videos? <laughs> adult videos. He sold adult videos, and I worked in the warehouse, kind of what you guys do, just packing and shipping stuff, right? And I did it uh, just to make cash because I was getting married, buying a house. And going to college, being a teacher, selling adult videos, packaging it up, right? It's a very weird combination of things to be doing yeah. all at once in your life. That's right. So the internet was young, eBay was new, and I played video games when I was a kid. And so after uh, my wife and I bought a townhouse... And I was still doing the school thing and everything. And then I started buying, I bought Double Dragon 2 for the NES on eBay. And I was like, this game's awesome. I got it in. I'm like, I love it. And I'm like, let's 
I started looking around. I'm like, man, all these games you could buy for like two or three bucks and sell them right back on eBay for five or six bucks. So I started doing that. I started buying bigger and bigger amounts of games right on eBay and then turning them right around and then selling them right back on eBay. And, you know, I told the guy who was uh, selling his uh, lurid material to, uh, I'm like, we should get into the video game business. I'm like, you don't want to be doing this. This is terrible. Nobody likes this kind of stuff, right? Yeah, Nobody, no one likes no that. One likes that. <laughs> Go on. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, I was like, video games. They're, they're they're better than this, this stuff. And what was his initial reaction to that? He said, "No, that's stupid." <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes video games. So, uh, so so yeah, yeah. So then you were forced to do it yourself, and you. Had... I weren't. I wasn't forced. I did it, and then I quit there, and uh, you know, and then here we are, selling a million video games. We sell a lot of video games now. We sell a lot, a lot of video games. Do you know how many video games we sell every year? I don't know the statistics now. I have no idea. <laughs> you don't either. I wasn't going to ask. I'm not very good with the numbers, to tell you the truth. Very loud. This Billions. Is, okay. We have a guy, uh, Scott, here, and uh, he's very good with the numbers. Yes. And uh, and then my wife, she's also very good with the numbers. But me, I'm, I'm not. I have no idea what we do around here. I know a lot of things come in and a lot of things definitely go out. Um, were we supposed to do something next on another topic? Number two. Okay, fine. We just got to the curve of that topic. What else we got? Where are we? Number two. I picked the last one. You picked this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened this week? So we're going to move right on to that. Sure. I was worried about time. No, don't worry <laughs> This about is time. excellent. <laughs> do you want to talk about what happened this week? Yeah. Um, so... DK Oldies, we're a business, and we're a growing business, and we got, uh, it started out just me, and then I hired my dad, I remember, for a little while. <laughs> you, do, do you remember that? I do not you, know Was that. anyone around here for, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that didn't work out so well. But, uh, <laughs> it worked out for a little while. We didn't talk for a few years. But, uh, don't, don't do business with family. That's uh, good advice. But, um, but now we got a lot of people, you know? There's, what do we got? Eight, yeah. seven guys, eight guys, seven something like that. There. And when you have a few, a couple guys, you know, it gets out of control with sometimes. You've, everyone feels very, very comfortable here. And you get a bunch of 20-year-old guys in here, and they start, you know, their mouths. Your generation. No, there's 20-year-olds. They're, wow. There's your generation is just filthy. It is. And, um, and that's because we're so open to stuff nowadays. It's so easy to, for us to get our hands on stuff because the internet and there's and things are just getting more and more terrible. So, can you blame us, Drew? What do you mean terrible? I mean, I don't know. Things are just getting worse and worse. What do you mean? I don't like think we go into details or no, everything. Just everything is more vulgar and uh, I don't know. So you appreciate what we did here. So DK Oldies, what we did, because right. we saw that the world was getting more vulgar, yeah. specifically in our area. <laughs> yeah. So we created a policy to be in place that they're the trash talk, the potty mouths of the uh, the floor out here can tone it down and be more civil. And we yeah. we even went over uh, racial problems that could or possibly arise that ever happened and sexual conduct yeah. policies well, can I, can and things like that to, to keep things in the future you know yes yeah so what were you gonna say i was gonna say i mean i think scott put it best you know we're a bunch of dudes in here a bunch of gamers hanging out and uh you know doing what we do and we got really tight really quick it's it's like a boys club you know yeah and with that I guess we did get a little too comfortable. It was like all pranking people and just. It was like all of a sudden we were a bunch of twelve-year-olds online. Yes. And disgusting. So I feel disgusted with myself. I'm glad we had that meeting. <laughs> now I want to raise. All right, so we did that, and I think that's uh, that's good. That's our yes. second. We have two pages now in our DK Oldies handbook. One is that, and then the dress code too that had to be addressed. <laughs> Well, I wonder what number three will be. Ooh, 
right. All right. This week in DK Oldies, we also have a new YouTube channel, which we have our podcast. Um, Rich and his video skills, he came out and he showed us a new video on how to put a 72-pin connector back in the NES. And it was really good. It was really awesome. And uh, so we started our YouTube channel. And now we're doing a podcast, and then Rich will do more videos, and um, it's very exciting. Very exciting. Very and exciting. I did like your video, Rich. It was very rich. <laughs> and then what a, a, a DDoS attack happened. Do you know what that is? I didn't know what it was. You told me about it, and I looked it up last night, but now I forget what it was. Something so all of a sudden, like the website, that's where we sell all our video games. All of a sudden, we stopped selling video games. And, you know, I go into a panic. I'm like, the whole world, nobody wants video games anymore. So I start freaking out everywhere, calling everybody I can. And uh, what happens is uh, these, I guess maybe they're hackers or whatever. Jay, you know about this stuff? No, not lately. I don't know anything about it either. So let's pretend I know all about it. <laughs> and I'll say that there's some guys, and they're, they have they send things... And ping our internet over and over. Joe, you're raising your hand. You know all about this stuff? Yeah, I know all about well, the... I'm probably right, right? I'm right yeah, on. Yeah, you're right. They, ping... they start pinging our website a billion times, and it slows everything down. But they didn't do it to us. They did it to somebody on our server. There's a lot of websites on our server. And they did it to somebody on the server. So it slows us down, too. But it, it crushes us for a few days, and I, and I hate these people. And um, I just want to find them. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to get them, you know. And I just want to, uh, just to, just to, if I could go right through the internet and come back on the DDoS, I'd like to DDoS them. I feel, I feel like this is therapy for me. This is gonna be my weekly Let it therapy out, thing. Let it out, I feel true. good. So, uh, so you want to go lawnmower man style? Go through the internet and wring these people's necks for ruining your website. Well, I mean, I, I'm a, I'm older now, you know. More mature. Uh, Guys are all young guys. I'm, I don't really go and ring necks anymore. I uh, I never really did that anyway. But I'll send one of you guys to go ring a neck. <laughs> That's why you hired us? Yeah. Oh, this is my favorite part of the show. This is I think there's a whole reason I wanted to do the show. And uh, so Anthony works for DK Oldies. Anthony, how long have you worked here? About a year, a little over the year, right? A year. A what? Months. Yeah. Feels like you worked here like two years. Okay, I've worked here for two years. Right, you did. You did get hired last spring. You got hired. Yeah, it was like last a year and a half. spring, Maybe and then back and into the fall. So I don't you're, know time, Drew. You're very close to two years, my friend. And um, what do you do here? You, you ship. I stuff am and... one of the main shippers. I'm the main tester. Okay, pretty cool. And yeah, I'm the one that cleans your games and tests your product, and that's what I do. You do a good job. Yeah, I do a good. You job. like it here? Um, yeah. I love it here. This is my second home. So I talk to Anthony every day. I go back and get my coffee, and Anthony's going to be testing games back there. And I'll ask him certain things, and he always has, like, you guys all have the same sort of answers. And Anthony always has a different answer than everybody. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just want to ask you some questions. I, just, I, I got, you would think that this would be a normal thing to ask somebody. And, um, uh, you know, maybe maybe you'll think it's totally fine. I don't know, but there's a new movie coming out this summer, and it's a video game related movie. It's called Pixel, and uh, I saw the trailer last night. It's got Adam Sandler in it and Kevin James and a bunch of a bunch of people in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, movie, it's about like you know, Pac Man comes down from space and starts eating everything, yeah. and uh, Galaga starts shooting ships everywhere. And I am aware. Big I summer blockbuster. Trailer. And I asked Anthony to, to watch the trailer, and uh, I just want to know, my, my big question for you is just what you thought of it. Okay. I feel like you purposely did this to me, because you knew I was... You purposely did... Alright, look. If it you fascinates had, me. If you had me sum up this that trailer, which I didn't read anything about... I'm not asking you to sum it up. No, I just want to know saying, what you thought of it. I'm saying, if I had to sum up that trailer in one word, misleading. Okay, it's misleading. <laughs> You're gonna sit here and say it's not okay. So I turned it's this misleading. I so you know I I said I 
texted my wife and I was like, all right, um, Drew wants me to watch this trailer. And she's like, oh, I watched a little bit of it. It looks so cool. We're going to love it. I watched like two seconds of it. And I was like, what's your down? I'm getting my fiance. Your fiance, God, okay. okay. All right. I'm getting married in 29 days. And um, she's like, we're going to love this movie. It looks so cool. They put this thing in the- She was all excited about in it. In a time capsule. She, she watched two seconds of it. Oh, And okay. they sent it out in the space, but then like- But she was excited about it. She was. Over text. Right. And so I was like, all right, cool. We'll watch how it together when we get you? home. Like some, how do you know she was excited over text? Like she sent you some- points or Really? Something. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, the typical. But, and so we go home and I'm like, oh man, it's going to be great. I'm so excited for this. I had no idea that Adam Sandler was in it, so I'm watching the beginning intro, and it's like, you know, like, uh, the Transformers-style, like, intro, like, it seems all big, and, like, the music's, like, super intense, and I was like, man, it's, like, a cool, serious movie. Next thing you know, Adam Sandler's like, Pac-Man's a bad guy? He didn't like that. I did not like it, and it was just ridiculous. I, I mean, who knows? The movie could be cool, but, and you know me. Did it I, make you angry? It made me very angry, and I was dreading even doing this because I was so mad that you made me watch that. Because I, in my head, in the first like couple seconds, I was like, this is going to be so epic and sick. Like, like uh, all right, all right. So, sorry. It, it's so what, really So what made you mad was the seriousness of the beginning of the trailer. And then all of a sudden it's, it's like goofy and corny. Yeah. And that and, offends you to the core. And the reason it offends me is because that idea and concept was so cool. If I told you I was... The this, idea and concept of sending something out to the to the and aliens they the and then they them wrong. come back. Yeah. I mean, that concept's been done a million times, right? So what, you turn into a cheesy comedy? Which, I mean, no offense to people who like new Adam Sandler. Well, that's what I, I wanted to ask you about. Like, what do you think of Adam Sandler? I like Adam Sandler. Like so, of course, like you know, we we love old '90s movies, and Adam Sandler was a huge part of that, those comedies and stuff. But what about Kevin James? Is that the King of Queens? He's guy? the King of Queens oh, guy. Yeah. Man, I can't stand you him. You don't like him. I can't stand him. Why? Is that I don't know his goofiness. He kind of seems like a fake. Uh, fake. He seems like a fake Chris Farley, and that annoys me. I know you don't know who these people are. You don't you know who jo Josh Gad. You don't know who he is, right? Which one is he? He's uh he's a newer guy. He's uh he's gonna be in the comedians with Billy Crystal. Okay. He was in Frozen. Uh, he's a he's a comedian. He's been in a lot of stuff, but he's in this movie. What about Peter Dinklage, the uh, the little guy? He's in Game of Thrones. Ah uh, yeah. You like that guy? I don't know. I don't know who that guy is because I don't okay. watch Game of Thrones. But Keith Richards told me that he was in that movie. What Adam Sandler you like? Adam Sandler I like. I don't like the direction that he's going with his family movie. You like early yeah. Adam Sandler? Of course. And then later sell out Adam Sandler is what you're saying. Yes. You don't like. Should stop making movies. Stop that. And then Kevin James, total fraud. Terrible. Although I do like King of Queens a little bit. What do you, you like the girl in King of Queens, right? Yes, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> you see right through me. Nice. All right. You know me too well. Okay, so, okay. so this kid's movie that is for, you know, it, it, it totally affects... You know, a big giant movie about retro video games yeah. coming out. I mean, we work in the retro video game business. Any kind of good business is good for me. It's good for right. you. Mm -hmm. And this movie makes you angry. Yeah. I, okay. God. <laughs> this movie for children. I guess it's for is it is it for children? Well, or it's got Adam Sandler and Kevin James, but they're you know it's they're playing around with video games. There's Pac Man. Yeah. I mean, what about the Pac-Man part where he acted like a little kid and he bit the, bit the guy's hand? That part was kind of funny, but it was kind of corny. He was like, kill this big piece of crap. Like, I don't know. I just, just too goofy for you. Too goofy. And, you know. You, like, you're, I think what it does, I think this is what happens. I think you saw this movie and it made you think of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Exactly. And, and you, it got in your you, brain. Oh. And it, it just like that anger just came over to this and it's like you're angry at the new pixel movie but really you're angry at the teenage mutant ninja turtle movie it is but unfortunately the pixel movie is gonna have to suffer your your wrath yes and you know i'm not huge on cgi so i who knows if any of that footage was actually shot in new york city it's probably some guy cgiing it on some computer but that's also something i didn't like about it and what's um, the last movie you saw in the theater last movie i thought saw in the theater I think it was her that um, 
Joaquin Phoenix movie. <laughs> Very weird, I know. But there was no CGI. So. I like that movie. Did you like that movie? I do. I like that movie. I like the game that he plays on the TV. And it's cool. Even though he, she totally screwed him over, which I You're hate a strange her. cat. <laughs> I hate her for that. All right. Okay, let's move on. Rich, how are we on time? Oh, we got to wrap it up? No, just keep moving. Keep moving? Um, I guess we're towards the end, and we're gonna do some uh, customer questions. But I really want to know how much time we have because I want to. Uh, I have some. I had some Nine stuff. Minutes. Till the half hour's over. Really? Oh. That's impressive, huh? I was worried that it was gonna take a long time. Talking the back in the morning, you waste like an hour. Right yeah, really. I can get so much more done. We can write so many more podcasts. <laughs> um, you got a lot of questions. Do I have questions? I don't have the questions here. You have questions. Are you going to read them to me? Uh, well, do you want to do Stoika? No, we'll finish with Stoika. All right, customer question. This is from Rick Paisley. With okay. everyone watching DirecTV or Dish Network on tablets and smartphone devices, will there be a time soon that everyone will be watching their DirecTV on their gaming devices, such as PS4 or Xbox One? Absolutely. Was was who's this? Rick Paisley. Rick. I mean, this is the exact reason we're doing a podcast because TV, as we know it, is dead. It's gone. Anyone who still is paying for their cable TV, they might as well just start thinking, you know, net. Like I can get rid of my cable, get Netflix, Hulu Plus, you know, Amazon Instant Prime, Apple TV, Amazon TV, Google, Google stuff, and start watching. TV any way you want now, and um, is it a good thing? I I don't know, but it's happening. So we made a podcast. So now you know we have a TV show, basically, right? And that's what it's all about. And will you be watching Direct TV in the future on your Xboxes and your uh, your iPads and your all that stuff? Yes, that is absolutely. You know what I did? You know what I've been doing? I, I was thinking about this earlier, this question. And uh, when I was a kid, my dad, he had TV in the family room and then it opened to the kitchen. And then you, you don't have kids, right? But when you have kids, they're really loud, right? So my dad had this big thing built. He got contractors in and he built a giant wall in between the kitchen and the family room so he could watch, and a big door so he could watch TV alone without hearing, without hearing the madness uh, so i don't have i don't want to build a giant wall and like doors like that so i uh what have i been doing i got my ipod and i've been watching tv directly with my ipod and my headphones and i can hide throughout the house and watch <laughs> my hide? tv but uh, what i'm saying is that's the future because you don't have to sit in your tv right. room and watch tv mm -hmm. With everybody else, especially you, you're a shut-in. You like to hide from people. You like to, oh. you like to, oh. you know, everyone's over here. I'm gonna go over here, right? That's this... what I do all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, you gotta get some headphones and get a iPad or something, and then you can watch your TV anywhere you want. All in your well, silent. You can go under the stairs tell me with this, a do blanket. You, do you really think that's a good thing? Do you think that's a good thing? I think it's a great thing to consolidate this thing and have it be so portable. I. I don't want to go on a rant here, but... You're afraid of it. You're afraid. I'm not afraid of it. I just think that it's too, you know, it's taken feeling away from things. So, like, like feeling. If I, as in, like, all right, we can't wait. Like, like uh, back in the day, if I was at work or whenever, if I was my age, like, 10, 20 years ago, I can't wait to come home and, like, watch my favorite show. Nowadays, I'm at work, and I'm like, oh, I'll just see the clip on YouTube. And then it takes away the meaning, as much meaning. So, I mean, I, it, it, is it a good thing? Maybe. I don't know what you said know. there. It was the meaning. I think. I think you got problems. like, especially. I should. I should be on your side because we sell retro video games, yeah. right? So we should be against all this new technology and all this new things happening, yeah. right? Because we love the old, right? Yeah. Like, um, what's that? No, we're fine. So we should embrace the old and just say no, 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 no. But you can't do that because you're never going to stop it. You're never gonna yeah. not the the change is good. It's it, the reason it's good is because people want it because we want yeah. it and we're willing to pay for it. So you're willing to work for it and then buy it and use it. It's awesome. But well, Drew, right? 
why, what you would say, why do you want to sell all these old video games too? Well, there's no reason that you can't love both. Why can't you love all the old stuff of the past? I mean, you can still plug in an old Nintendo and remember the past and then still look to the future and do all that new stuff. Just like Anthony, I'm going to bring it right back to Pixel, the movie. Why can't you look at Pixel and just say, you know, it's for the kids and it's got, got some bad aspects, but maybe, maybe it's fun. Yeah, I don't know. It takes a special kind of person to, to love the old stuff and be acceptable of the new stuff and not let the new stuff take up your life and uh, take away all those good feelings of like having take to wait a, for something. I feel like this is a whole therapy for you. This, this is the whole reason I did this show, just to help you. I thought so. <laughs> that crossed my mind. But You're not going to take away the bad feelings. You're going to enhance them. Okay. That's, that's what I'm saying. Next question. Do you guys want to do what movie is this from or random question? I think what movie is this from or random, random questions? From a movie. I don't want to do... I don't want to do either of those things. Okay, move on. I. How much time do we have left? Dude, let's, let's keep it rolling. You let's, do, let's do a couple of right. questions. Actually, you know what I wanted to do? I uh, I went online. I went on a website. I went, <laughs> I went on quickfunnyjokes.com, <laughs> and I found some jokes that I wanted to read to Anthony, and I wanted to see what he thought of them. <laughs> this, is, this is all day, people. This is exactly what we do. Okay. They're all Nintendo jokes, so they're they're oh, rel okay. they're relevant. Come here, I was, I was move in so I could see it. What does Princess Peach sit on at a bar? Um, a mushroom. A toadstool. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I didn't know that the, there was a thing called a toadstool until right? right now, anyway. Okay. So. All right. Oh, this is this is a good one. What does Donkey Kong do when he sees a boat? They're not riddles. I know. To you're me, just supposed they to say, are. You're just supposed to say. I'm obsessed with with knowing answers to jokes. So he I, goes. This is a little dirty. He goes, ape ship. Oh my huh? god. Huh? Huh? That's bad. How does Yoshi feel when he gets hurt? Dinosaur. Oh my god. Huh? Alright, and then I went to a website called. Oh, wait, one more. I'll finish this with the last one. <laughs> What's a toilet? What is a toilet's. This is this is just outrageous. What's a toilet's favorite game? A you're gonna like, you're, gonna, you're gonna like this one. You're gonna like this one. Something with flushing? They Call don't need... of Duty. Oh huh? my god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. All right, and then I went to a website. I went to it's a sister site of that other site. Uh, it's called Pickup Lines Galore, and they have for you guys for you guys who want to pick up chicks and uh, you want to do it in the right retro video game way. Yeah. You know, here's some lines nice that can help you with that. And Anthony, I know you're you have a fiance, but if you ever didn't and you wanted to go pick up some girls this is what this would be the way to do it you would go you would go excuse me you know young lady are you wearing the prince or are, are you wearing the pegasus boots because you've been running through my mind all day what does a pegasus boots have to do with it's zelda zelda oh, zelda oh. next one okay now i'm getting checked <laughs> What's a girl like you doing in a forest temple like this? <laughs> wow. What do you How's think? How's that even a what is it? Are, what do you, you think of that? Only one? use that in a forest? If you want to get girls at maybe a bar, you would go up and you would use these lines and that's how you would how get a girl. No, you would. At a bar you, maybe with these. Maybe this one will work. I'm not possessed. This is what you do. You go up to a girl. You see a nice girl across the the bar. Okay, right, and you, you're having your drink. She's having you go over there, and you go, "Hi, you know, I'm Anthony." And then you go, "I'm not possessed by Majora's Mask." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm just crazy for you. <laughs> wow! And I thought that this one was really good because you never, 
I don't know if this is a good one because you never really want to use the word crazy in the first line you say to a girl. You don't want them to let. You don't just say. You, you don't just don't say crazy. crazy. You, at least yeah. For me. Maybe that was the problem with that one. The these crazy. are like you use these lines. The majors, the possessed. Maybe you don't want to use that one either. Yeah. And then here's the last one. <laughs> this one starts with baby. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Z targeting you all night long. Yeah, that, that's huh? the best one. You like that? That's yeah. the best. Boom, one. boom, and that's 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 all we have. We're gonna end the podcast with that, I think. And uh, this is our trial podcast, and we're gonna watch it. We're gonna see how it goes, and then uh, we'll probably do a next one, uh, maybe in a week or a month. I don't know. <laughs> it all depends, It'll but. Be- uh, We'll have some more stuff. We'll, we'll we'll show people. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't show uh, what we got in this week. People want to see that, right, you Rich? Do it? Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, real quick. We'll just, uh, we'll, we, DK Oldies buys collections every single uh, day. And um, every week we get in some weird stuff. We get in uh, uh, lots of our Marios and Zeldas and stuff like that. But every now and then we get some really rare stuff or some weird stuff. And... Um, so I guess we just want to show you what we got this week, and when we do the podcast next week, we'll show you what we got in that week. So um, I was going to – we get in all these packages every day, kind of like Christmas. So I was going to open up a random Sell Your Games box. Uh, that's our program, Sell Your Games. And I was going to – while I'm talking, you can bring it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. three boxes. So this is a box that just came in today. I have no idea what's in it, and we're going to open it, and we'll see what's in it. I, I don't know. Someone's selling it to us. It's uh, Justin. I don't want to say the last name because we don't know if he wants to be a part of this. Okay. Hold that. Can you still see me? You have no idea what's in here? No, I have no idea. So Justin, he... um... So we got... Justin has a little sheet about what he sold us with his PayPal address and his address, and we owe him $387. You're going to pay for that, Anthony. (laughs) So what do we get here? We got Turtles 2, Mega Man 2, Mario is missing. I remember I told some some game guys that I liked Mario is missing, and they they yelled at me. Why did you say that? I just, which sells really well. Uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Mortal Kombat 2, Street Fighter 2, some games, Purple Game Boy, there's a lot of stuff in here, Wind Waker, GameCube, so, Justin, a lot of Nintendo 64 stuff, Donkey Kong 64, Pokemon Stadium. This is pretty good. Gotta have the manual. So what we'll do here is we'll get this in. And we got uh, Super Smash Brothers for the GameCube, Metroid Prime, all the classics. Uh, Twilight Princess. So what we'll do here is we'll get this in. We'll take Justin Wagner's sheet. We'll, we'll make sure everything uh, looks good. And then we'll send him his PayPal payment. Rich says to move the box. She can't see anything. So, we'll, uh, you could just say it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, we'll take it in, and then we'll send him his PayPal payment either, uh, not today, we'll do it tomorrow morning, and then we'll take all this stuff. Anthony will test all the stuff, and then we'll get it out, we'll put it on the website, and then people can buy it, and then we ship it out. And uh, that's kind of what we do. I think we should have ended on the jokes, though. <laughs> Honestly. Because this is sort of like a, a downer, but I guess this is what people want to see. Is, is that what you think? To us, it's it's not too crazy, but because we see it every day, so I feel like this is just like, eh. Did we get anything else this week that was important? We got Die Hard uh, NES complete. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, SNES uh, was it Act Razor three or Act Razor three for Super Nintendo. Uh, we got Alfred Chicken NES. Wow. And. Uh, <laughs> We got a we got a, a Nintendo Power number one yeah, we got in that collection. Uh, we got Kirby Wii, Kirby uh, what was that? Epic that? Yarn. 
130 copies of it. Got 130 copies of Epic Yarn Metal on sale Metal. now. DK Oldies, go buy it. Uh, we'll put a coupon for it next podcast, yeah. right? <laughs> Uh, all right, one more joke before we go, because I got I I feel like if we don't leave on a on a, we'll do well. You know what I, I did? I got the jokes, and then I got the pickup lines for Zelda, and then there was pickup lines for Mario. I didn't read, okay. so I'll just do one. Just do those three. Well, maybe I did. I picked out the good ones, the ones that would make sure definite score. So these, yeah. to remind you, these will be for all the kids out there who uh, you know, going out. See a lady that you like. For a magfest or a something like that. Yeah, one convention. A girl dressed up as Pikachu <laughs> or something. You go up and you. Uh, this is what you say to her. If I had the choice, I'd spend my hundred coins on you instead of on an extra life. Wow, that one. That's a. That's deep. That's a deep. One. That's a long one too. I don't, yeah. If Princess Toadstool. Looked anything like you, I would have killed Bowser years ago. And I think you don't want to say the word killed in a pickup line. Just like crazy crazy and possessed. But, I don't know. Last, Ready? Well, last one. If you want to pick up a girl wearing a Pikachu costume. <laughs> Mario is red. Sonic is blue. Press start to join and be my player too. Beautiful. Boom. Beautiful. Thank you, DK Oldies Podcast. Um, we'll see you, maybe never. <laughs> we'll see you. <laughs>